In the 80s, drug business was a big thing. The movies picked up on that, but the gangsters were the real stars. My favorite? John Alight. Goodfellas is uh, Robert De Niro's portraying Jimmy Burke. Most gangsters were shot or locked up, and only some lived to tell a story. So I was getting uh, coke that was coming directly in from him. This is a guy who knows Gotti from way back. John, how are you, man? Very nice to meet you. Good, how are you? I'm Albanian, by the way. So. How bad should I say, right? Well, yeah. hey, look at me. I, I believe I'm alive for a reason. Over the years, a lot of people try to take my life. I wondered if John had changed. I don't even remember him telling me he was Albanian. I got down on a knee, just like this, opened up the scope, and I picked off three guys. To me, there are two characters to this story. Johnny Aleto, that terrible man, and I was definitely going to do a piece of work, kill somebody or do something like that. I kept three guns on me at all time. And John Alight, the caring father. Two personalities, yes. kind of? Yes, yes, absolutely. The whole mobster life, it was glamorized at that time. And I think because of all that glamour, he fell right into it. And Interpol got on me, and once they got on me, I was arrested. So when I see John Gotti Jr. now I know is already cooperating, but eventually the United States does come to get me. Whatever you do in life, there are always consequences. He wasn't around as much, he was always, uh, you know, away. There was always a promise over the phone, I'll be home next year, I'll be home. It didn't work. When I came home, I believe I have a purpose, helping these kids to become men and not screw up. That's life. That's what I learned the most while searching for the rules of the Mafia. But John made me wonder, what really defines the perfect gangster?